Okay, not quite finished. Um, it's only 20 past one, sure. Why are we doing going to bed at this stage? Okay, so I'm going to have a look at the snowflake problem or puzzle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah, so first of all, let's just look at the perimeter. The area is way too hard, and it definitely wouldn't get asked anything like that. Sorry for giving it to you in the first place, really. Okay, the perimeter isn't hard to work out. I started off, I just said, look, let, let, let it have a length of nine. You let it be any length you want. So perimeter is just three nines, 27 for the first one. If you look at just one side here, right, it's not uh, the, 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 that triangle isn't obviously in, in proportion with that one. The scale is wrong. But if you take this side here, cut out the middle third, and then you make a, um, a collateral triangle out of that, you're obviously replacing the middle third with two sides exactly the same length. So instead of the original one line, which was made up of three thirds, you've now effectively got four thirds where you started with three. So you've increased by a, a multiple of four over three on each of the three sides. So your the, the overall length has been increased by four over three. So 27 by four over three is 36. Another way is just, you could just count the sides if you didn't spot that. It's 12 sides, each of them three centimeters long. That's 36 as well. Here you could just multiply by four over three again, because the original side was length three here, say, and you've taken out the middle third and replaced it by two lines the same length here. So you got four little lines here, four thirds, so to speak, where you originally had three thirds here. So again, the multiplying factor is four over three, and 36 by four over three is 48. Um, alternatively, just count up the lines. There's 48 little lines, and they're all one long this time. There were nine long here, three long here, one long here. So there's going to be a third long here. It's not too hard to spot the, the number of lines. It's multiplying by four each time. And four 48s is 192. So you could multiply 192 by a third, or just take the answer for the third one, which was 48, and multiply it by four over three you get 64. Now, if you keep going with that, you're obviously going to be multiplying by 4 over 3 each time. So it's actually going to grow towards infinity, the perimeter is. Um, that's basically it on perimeter. In terms of the area, look, look, look at the mess, yeah? Um, it's very, very, well, it's not that hard to follow if you had time, but 25 past 1, uh -uh. and then to actually look and see what happens uh, at the end of it there, it's, yeah, it's full on. Um, you know, so if you don't want a headache, don't bother freeze framing that in YouTube. Um, uh, but if you're feeling insomniac like myself, go right ahead. Anyway, see you tomorrow. Bye.